The soprano singer, these trainings will help you be a better soprano singer. Now, to be a soprano singer, it means you are very, very good. You can hit very, very high notes because there are, there are soprano singers that actually sing classical soprano, the one that is used in choral choirs like Alleluia Chorus and so on and so forth. And those ones, their voices must always hit that ah, high pitch. And the other ones also that they can sing normal, normal contemporary choir soprano singers. Now, for normal contemporary choir soprano singers, they don't need to have very, very high pitchy soprano. They can be able to sing the melody that is in the song. I mean, they will, be, they will still feature as soprano singers in the choir. As a soprano singer, you are able to sing from C4 to F6 or from C3 f6 that c3 is rare that means you are able to sing between alto and and soprano but c c4 to c6 there are certain exercises you must do regularly to be a good soprano singer one of them is your posture how do you stand when you sing the way you're supposed to stand should be so relaxed and then your head should be at this level and then your shoulders should be dangling not like they are stiff no dangling to enable you sing comfortably as a soprano singer number two is the way you place your tongue your tongue has to be relaxed down here in the lower jaw region when you want to sing or when you sing it is not always good for your tongue to be hitting the roof of your mouth when you are singing generally as a singer your tongue should not hit the roof of your mouth when you are singing for you to learn how your tongue should be when you are singing as a soprano singer is what we call the yawning exercise so when you do yawning find out that your tongue relaxes down it doesn't go up the roof of your mouth it stays below so you go so you do that all the time you yawn and then when you yawn you do ah! you know you pitch at each time you do that yawning and put your tongue down and the other thing again that can help you as a soprano singer is the way you breathe when you sing now if you take in air you try to expand i used to call it the diaphragmatic breathing so you breathe to your diaphragm normally the air stays in your lungs but your diaphragm helps to allow your ribs to expand to enable you to compress the air within that region so you can manage the air when you sing as a soprano singer you need to learn how to breathe and then use your diaphragm to push your voice upwards through your vocal cords that is one exercise that can help you sing as a soprano singer other exercise is learning how to use the vowels to create sound when i say vowels i mean a e i o u you know that in english so you have a call it a when it comes to music say so use so all those things are things you can do to help your soprano voice it's also the, the why me exercise why me exercise you can do that regularly as a, a soprano singer so you go why me When you do that why me you keep modulating and when you finish modulating you begin to demodulate that's exercises you can do as a soprano singer there are so many other exercises you can do as a soprano singer we can cover all, all of them in this, in this in this particular episode well my name is sam david online choir master if you have any questions about how to sing better on stage in the choir please give me a follow and we can always talk about it in this channel